So the tangent function has a lot of different key features to be aware of. First of all, the domain. We know that the, the tangent, which by definition is the sine over the cosine, will not be defined if cosine is zero. So the domain is the set of all x values as long as x is not equal to pi over two plus any multiple of pi. Those are the, uh, the places where the cosine is equal to zero. Um, and here if k is an integer, we'll say this up here. For all of everything that I write here, k will be an integer. All right, the range. We, in the graph of the tangent, we saw that our, it went up forever and down forever. Our, ra our range is all real numbers. So that's the set of all y values such that y is between negative infinity and infinity. The period of the tangent function is just pi. The tangent function as the sine divided by the cosine Sine is an odd function and cosine is an even function. So tangent is an odd function. In other words, the tangent of negative x is equal to negative tangent of x, which means that we have symmetry in the origin. The x-intercepts of tangent, those are when the sine of x is equal to zero. And that happens at multiples of pi. So that's going to be at the coordinates um, k times pi, where k is an integer, comma, zero. The vertical asymptotes occur at these places that are cut out of the domain. So our vertical asymptotes are x equals pi over 2 plus or minus any multiple of pi. I guess I don't need the minus because the uh, k is an integer. And then we have key points. The key points of the tangent function are going to be when sine and cosine have the same magnitude, the same number, either positive or negative. So when sine and cosine are equal to, uh, sorry, when x is equal to pi over 4, um, then sine and cosine are equal to 1. And that actually occurs at pi over 4 plus every period, pi, so any multiple of pi, comma 1. Okay, that's a key point. Another key point is if we look at negative pi over 4. And at negative pi over 4, they're both square root of 2 over 2, but one of them is negative. Okay, and at uh, negative pi over 4, the sign is negative. And if we go any multiple of pi after that, it still gives us the same number, but one of them is negative, so we end up with a negative one. So those are some key points of the graph of the tangent of x.